Hi, I'm Mrs. Alpha Speak. This is a video I promised to show you to show how our application uh, or one of our applications uh, is generating GOT files. Uh, I opened it for uh, to show you. I opened it in AutoCAD 2022. It's, the application itself works some really suspect old versions. Uh, what we have uh, is just a model space. We have uh, plain geometry, nothing special. We have blocks, we have patches, we have polylines. Um, and uh, I start our, German, uh, our application, sorry. Um, our application does more than just this one functionality, but uh, currently generating GeoTiffs is built in, into this application. And if uh, the functionality fits to your uh, expectations, then let us know that uh, we can try to, ex to exclude this part of the application uh, and make a, a, a separate plugin from it. We have a, a thought or different thoughts how we can uh, work with uh, generating geotiffs and uh, the application itself started uh, a bit different and let me show that because uh, it makes sense to uh, have a better understanding of what we do. Uh, we first uh, create um, or show uh, our blocks uh, we create layouts from. Uh, what are we doing? We generate uh, dynamic blocks. Uh, we can set different sizes. The block has different IDs or, or, or numbers, so we can create files from these numbers. And uh, in this time, the block is defined uh, to use a base layout uh, for each of these blocks. A layout with that name will be copied and the content will be filled how does this master layout look like. This is a master layout uh, and you can create any layout. We have to have one uh, viewport in that and what we can do we have uh, our, uh, our IDs for the, for the areas. Uh, we have coordinates. Uh, it's, it's just one block uh, we can create uh, for having our title, one viewport. And that viewport has to have the correct settings, like which layers are on, which layers are off, and maybe uh, layer color overrides or what else, what else. Okay, and what we do now is I select these elements. Uh, I say I want to create layouts. Please look to the line. I want to create for each of the block layouts with the content. I start the functionality. This is a function we might need to export to make a separate plugin from it. Uh, we have a, a generate pod function. Uh, it generates layouts, and as we can see, uh, for each of the blocks we have in model space, uh, we get the core content inside the viewport of each of the layouts and what we can do and what is the goal of all that. I select all layouts. Uh, well, we publish layouts. Uh, I define to use a uh, PDF export. Uh, I create one PDF from all of them. I push that in the folder uh, I have here. Um, the folder. And there should be created and it starts. Uh, well, we have a bit of contents, so it needs a few seconds uh, to run through the whole process and for all layouts we can see the layout switching from one to another every layout had to be regenerated uh, and then the pdf is extracted so this is one function that's how this functionality we call it dot function is called is it has started to work uh, and we can see now uh, that every page we open uh, we have our parts uh, from the model space split for each of the few ports or plug extends. This is one functionality. The other functionality is that we use the same. I remove them, I delete uh, this one. Uh, I switch to the other layer, uh, to, to the other layer where we have to get different uh, settings uh, inside uh, the box to plot. Uh, this time we see that we have uh, the reference to a PC free file. 
the angst inside the PC3 files, we have page setups and page setups for us or for Qtif means uh, we can define how many pixels each of the uh, rectangles uh, should have. Uh, when we look to the block manager, let's start to look to it. It's really easy uh, to do the file itself uh, or you can do that with other PC3 files uh, too. Uh, I have the TIFF out, look to the document settings and see here uh, that we have the different page sizes. So our TIFF out, uh, I called it, uh, I have named it exactly the pixel, 10,000 by 10,000 pixel, 5,000 by 5,000, 5,000, 2 by 2 and so on. Uh, we have to be a bit careful because AutoCAD does not support more than I, I think 12,000 by 12,000 pixel. Uh, if you need a higher resolution, uh, then you have the option, it's quite easy to do that, uh, to make the blocks half in size, click, click, make more blocks uh, and each of the smaller blocks then to 10,000 so the resolution gets up. Okay. So, the process is the same as before. Uh, we see there are no files currently. What is the goal or what does the functionality do for each of the selected blocks? It uses this PC3 file, this page setup, and creates a file uh, based on the number of attributes in the folder where the DWG file is set. So, I can do the same again. Right click, select similar to get all uh, hot blocks selected. I run the same, the same procedure. Uh, this time uh, it generates uh, two files for each of the uh, border blocks. One file is a TIFF file which has the RGB, the, the color content, uh, and the other file is the URL file. Uh, so each of the GIS software packages can use the file, can insert it, uh, and it is placed in the correct position based on the count, uh, based on accordance and uh, sizes, pixel sizes that are given the TFD file. TFD file, excuse me. So, just a few seconds, 5000 by 5000 is a bit of calculation. What we see now is that for each of the borders, we have a TIFF file and a TFV file. Uh, these one are separate ones as uh, application specific. That uh, does not uh, make no sense to describe that now. If I look into this, uh, so we see that we have uh, our, jam, uh, our graphic output. Uh, it is in 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, so it is quite good. Uh, it could look a bit different depending on the viewer you have. Uh, there are views that are faster, uh, they, are not, they are more pixelated, uh, but inside the plot, uh, when you plot from uh, the GIS software, you can use it well. So, let's see what what, uh, what we have. Uh, the TFV file is that for points. Let's take a look into it. Uh, what we see is we have the size of the pixel in X and Y direction. We have coordinates. I have not placed uh, the, the border blocks precisely. Sorry. Um, and that's the upper left corner for each of the files. When I now start, for example, AutoCAD map, uh, where you can use the insertion functions uh, of two different versions. You can use map insert and you can use map connect. Let's try map connect to see how it looks like. We connect to raster data. I want to have this folder in the end. Um, files from it connect. I want the all TIFF files to be shown. I have to look a bit, to, to wait a bit. Sorry for that. Okay, and now one time soon stands. And we have our geometry, uh, our uh, raster graphic here. So what we are seeing now is that is how AutoCAD map presents the graphic. Looks quite okay. The map connect does a, a, a good display because it. Well, uh, some some people say it does too much anti-aliasing, but it looks good on the screen. Uh, therefore, it's not that fast as it could be. We can also look into cookies, for example. Uh, which is one uh, 
Node.js software that's public for free and it's very, very strong in functionality. However, it's not so good in Rust and display. It's good in display speed, but not so good in display quality. Uh, anyway, plotting is okay. We again look to the folder where we do our demo. We have our demo plot and we have our raster files here. I do the same again. Uh, I want to have the layers added to the project and we see the quality is not that good, but we have a very, very fast display and with 5000 pixels if you want to plot it or if you use it uh, to um, to display it on um, GIS viewers, uh, you have to have the, bet, the better resolution or the better viewer. Uh, the quality of the images with 5000 by 5000 pixels is good for, I say, 99% of the views. Well, that's what our function can do. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions to it. I will show the uh, mail address. You can use a mail address here if you have any more questions in detail. Every question is welcome. I have, uh, hope that fits to expectations. Uh, every feedback, thank you in advance for it. Ciao. Thank you.